I don't like swimming with crocs. I don't know. Why'd you let me do that? I don't really care that much about you. Don't film that. If that goes on there, I will crack your head open. I think it's the insects that got to me. I got West Nile from the fleas Carl gave me. Don't leave your pillows with your swag because you'll be looking for your pillows if you don't use your swag. Well, the baby's three weeks old, so I figured Mary could probably handle her by herself for a couple days. So I'm probably in the doghouse pretty big, but the schedule didn't really work out for me to come up and hunt. Carl has clients, but he said he needed a hand. I don't think I'm really guide qualified, but I'm definitely qualified to come up and ride around and open gates. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna film some of this adventure. Figure it's always an adventure up here, so probably be pretty entertaining. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll bust free. I did bring my bow, so. If Carl says I can shoot something, I'll probably shoot something. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hang out, open gates, carry water, do what I'm told, maybe tell some jokes, and uh, hopefully at least get to go on a couple of these stalks. Now, last time I was here, we were sleeping in a tent with a little air conditioner in it. Wow. This is deluxe. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, just... That's Carl, he's in the West Wing slash entertainment room. Now, Carl's got this stuff. I thought the tent was pretty deluxe, but check this thing out. All the hunter stuff's in here. Look at that, full bed, fancy floor, air conditioner. Only the finest up here now. Last year we had to jump in the billabong and risk our lives to get clean. Now look at this. It was just barren wilderness, and now it's just thriving utopia, so. Go there and have a shower. Mary did her part in dangerous way. You know, if there was a croc in there, she could have get taken away. So if she did it, let's all have shower in the billabong. You first, Cap. I think you first. But there's nothing in the water. If you can feel it, if you're here, you can feel the water is safe just by your heart that touch you in the water. That's where we went swimming. Captain said you'd feel it in your heart if there was a crocodile. There's a crocodile. Captain said it was good to swim in the pond, that there's no crocs. You'd feel it in your heart, and I trusted him. Carl, you want to go swimming? I noticed Carl didn't go swimming when we did. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I didn't feel shit in my heart. I felt it. Here. I thought I felt it in my heart, but I guess it was heartburn or something. Captain needs to be the test case to work out what's in there and what's not. I think Mary was the test, and then Captain, and then me. So I put my seven-year-old boy in there the other day. Me and him jumped in. Ah. Uh, no one died. No one's died uh, yeah, yet. The day's not over. Dave. I don't like swimming with Crocs. I don't know why'd you let me do that. Um, I don't really care that much about you. Mary did swim in a dangerous way. Nine times out of ten when I'm wrong, I'm actually right, so it doesn't matter. Don't argue. Just didn't realize how right I was when I thought I was wrong. I woke up in the Northern Territory this morning and Carl said he needed some help, but he has Neil and he has Peter here, so obviously he just wanted me to come hang out. He's probably missing me, understandable. But I got a three week old baby at the house and it's our wedding anniversary, but Carl needed my help. All right, Carl. How bad did you need my help? Like cancer. <laughs> but they got three bow hunters in camp, so lots of, lots of hunting to do. Lots of buffalo, lots of pigs, lots of things. The better question is, how do y'all fellas put up with Carl? Yeah. How do I put up with them? A, this isn't well, this isn't a question for you, it's Carl. A story, it's a love hate relationship. <laughs> <laughs> story. Strong on the hate. I'm all they got. <laughs> I'm all they got. You heard it first. We just spotted a big rusa deer. I caught a glimpse of him bedded. And I don't know much about rooster deer, but I know deer, and I can tell that he's big, so he must be big. He's laying 
behind two trees, got like palmetto palms in front of him. He's laying broadside and his head's away. So pretty perfect scenario. There's a big oak tree at about 40 yards from him. So we're gonna try to get to that tree and go from there, but stocking stuff in Australia, come on. Now these guys, um, they're a swamp deer, so this habitat here is perfect for them. So very oh. lucky to get one with a bow. It's it's really wild, on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see he's been fighting flat out. They're really, really aggressive deer raids. They're not rutting really. Like this one's rutted pretty hard, but the other guys we're not hearing them. So it's the hot weather, and we had a very strange wet season, very long wet season. And yeah. We got lucky on this one, Zach. Very lucky. You see that deer? <laughs> he was bedded down, so. We had the wind right and snuck right in on it. Cool spot, but now we're going to the proper bush where there's none of these luxuries. So we're gonna see what Solomon takes us to, see some of his country, hopefully see some bentang, some buffalo, some rusa deer, who knows? Way excited. This is Solomon, Captain's cousin. Solomon, last time I was here, Captain told me to swim in that pond or that billabong, whatever you'd call it. Would you call that a billabong or a pond? Probably a pond. Would you swim in it? No. Then why wouldn't you swim it? Well, a croc can smell if it, the wind, you know, if you've got a billabong down the bottom there somewhere. Yeah. And if he's, you know, like just sniff of water and he's drying out, he'll travel all the way here and then ends up in the billabong. The captain said go swimming. Hmm. This is guide extraordinaire Neil. Neil, what you reckon about this trip? So far so good. What do you think we're gonna get into out there? Absolutely, there's some, gonna be some big band tang. We're gonna have a crack at these guys. They, they're gonna be good. These are uh, hunters, uh, they don't know what's in for them, but they're tight. These animals should be on the water and uh, yeah, should be a good day. Well, I've been out with Captain, but now we got Solomon. So, do you know Solomon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, this is his country. So uh, he knows what he's doing out here. And, if he can't put us onto these animals, I don't know who can. Well, well, Captain tried to get me to swim with the croc, so I like Solomon <laughs> more already anyway. So, should be a heck of an adventure today. Oh, we're about to leave camp, and there's a fire, grass fire coming in, so we gotta make sure there's no way the grass fire catching. I just showed off this brand new fancy camp and now it's threatened by fire, so not ideal. At least you saw that before we left though. That would have sucked to come back to nothing. Hey, we'll start this up first, I'll use this as well. Follow them. Ooh. That was almost bad. Set that thing down and forgot about it. <laughs> that would have been expensive. You okay, camera? You melted a little bit? Not again. The day has been saved. Luckily, Neil's a volunteer firefighter one time, back when he was a kid. I just volunteered then. I think we all volunteered.
wildfires, bad wheel bearings. I don't want to know what's next. Ruined. Ruined it. I'd like to say another word, but Zach says I'm going to say that on TV because it's not PC. The newest development is the trailer is officially out of commission. We're loading everything into these two vehicles and uh, cue the Clampets music now. I just did all this by myself for Carl. Trustful. I'm not Come doing on. it. I'm finding the slowest Where's way. the trust? No, I don't trust you. I told I'm you there was a crocodile the in there. I'm Whew, yeah, I almost died. I'm finding the slowest way down. Check out the body strength, son. You know what that looked like? An avalanche. I could have been in the Olympics. That nice. looked like an avalanche of fat, sweat, and butt crack. That's jam-packed and jelly tight right there, Carl. Unlike Ooh. your belly. That's jelly. Whew. That's jam. Don't film that. If that goes on there, I will crack your head open. Many hours later, driving through the middle of nowhere, we're in the proper bush, putting up swags. It's sleepy sleep time. Everybody's pretty quiet. I think they're asleep on their feet. It's midnight. <laughs> about these boars but I didn't sleep for nothing last night. I see any bugs up here. So I lost a little belt out of my pants. When you stand up really fast this is what happens. I'm trying to make a belt. This is gonna be the best belt ever. Good you see what happened to Zach? He didn't listen to me. So I sent my little friends over to get him all night long. Now, if you have a look at him, this is karma getting Zach for looks being like a jerk. Looks like I have chicken pox. You got more than chicken pox, my friend. I know it might be viral. <laughs> Seminal. Might be terminal. With any luck. I've asked Carl about 12, 14 times what we're doing today, and all I get is blah, 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 humbug. You're gonna get stabbed is what you're gonna get. Oh, I, shoot. I knew something I on it. All I know is we're in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna go one of these directions and maybe shoot something. And Neil's got a new belt, which is pretty nice. It's uh, <laughs> got it on sale. You're a pair of pajamas. Come you on, you got to improvise in the bush. You have a pink up in here. Yeah, there's a wall hole up there. I don't check. Tell me oh, that's good coffee, coffee, Carl. Thanks. If you didn't know, Australians make the worst coffee. America has a few good things. One of them is better coffee. That's absolute shit. Yeah, that's like that's like fighting. That's words. fighting words. One Yankee's gonna get beat up by two Aussies in a minute. Not a Yankee. Not a Yankee. Not gonna take it. Won't be spoke to like that. I'm just gonna go for a walk around the bush. Sing me by my outstretched hand, lead me to cold black water. We went on a bit of a death march, which I think Carl would call a bush bash, maybe. They have silly words for things. And I was kind of feeling sorry for myself. I was thinking about how I didn't sleep last night and how I had an insect in infestation. And then I started thinking, why was I the only one that had such an infestation? Then I remembered I found some of Carl's items in my swag, and then I started thinking maybe I got fleas from Carl or bed bugs or something. Um, then I started thinking about how it's the hottest winter conditions I've ever seen and how I don't really like it being hot and sweaty because it sucks. And then I started thinking about how cool it would be to have an ice cold swimming pool. Then I started thinking about ice cold orange drink. Then I thought about what if you had a swimming pool full, full of orange drink? That could what you okay. reckon? Would you swim in a pool full of orange drink? Come on. That I think we've been out here too long and I'm getting tired. My back hurts. I think it's the insects that got to me. 
I got West Nile from the fleas Carl gave me. Oh, can I get my shoelace up? Good commentary. Good commentary? <laughs> who's, who's Terry? I'm sitting back while these guys class. It looks like I found a pretty big buffalo, so I'm gonna let them do their thing and then I'm gonna get in there and try to film. But their hunt's more important than my video, so I'm gonna do my best. We'll see. I'm gonna try. One thing I remember about my last trip to the Northern Territory, fast pace, a lot of action. We in it again. That, that thing hit the stumps real quick. He wheeled around about 50 meters and he was dead. Quick work out of that. He didn't feel very far, did he? Scale of one to 10, how awesome? About a 12, 13 plus. Pretty good. As far as like a trophy goes, where does this rank? That's up there. That is up there for a good trophy bull. Big and curve on it, big curve, nice big spread. You can see here he's been fighting. Got dings all through here. He's a very, very mature bull. Well, and with a bow at that. One Good shot. work, perfect shot. Good that thing, shot. he didn't tote that far at all. When he ran like 50 yards and started tumbling, yeah. bulldozing. In total, he probably didn't make it 100, so. I think our time in the bush is coming to an end. We're packing the swags up, we're packing the things, getting in the buggy, back to civilization. These guys had a big trip. Everybody got a buffalo, we got a roosted deer. They had some cracks at some bentang. Pretty great trip out here to the bush. Something special about this place. Always wanna come back. But uh, I think mama and baby are ready for me to get home. I don't think she slept a whole lot. I think she's mad at me, so. Going home. And then we're going home home. Fly to America in a few days. Gotta get that baby the right passport. Come on. Next time, we'll be in Nashville. Don't leave your pillows with your swag because you'll be looking for your pillows if you don't use your swag. One.